Y'all know we here with your boy Big PJ. Y'all at the Informal Podcast, and y'all already know what it is. Y'all see, we got a special guest in the building. Let's but before go. my man introduce himself, we got to tell y'all why we here. Yeah. Man, we sacrificed a lot to get here, bro. That's, and that's the tour we on, bro. You feel me? So this is the first stop, Richmond, Virginia. We in the building. Shout out to everybody that put this on. Amazing event, man. Tell the people who you are, man. Man, I go by Smooth Jewels, man. Coming straight out of Camden, aka Blandon, man. Let's go. Out of Bitty. Come on, man. Talk your shit, bro. Uh huh. So we here for. Hey, man. So, uh, how did you link up with the brother, and how did you become a part of this tour, man? Uh, I was just been going crazy viral all like summer. Like, I basically like took over to my city in the summertime, my little area. You feel me? Yeah, it had a lot of traction, had a lot of content, a lot of shit was going viral. Just you know, rubbing shoulders with the right people, and then I ended up here. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up, God man. God is good. Hell yeah, bro. All the time. All the time, bro. Um, so before we get into the tour and all that, because I'm sure you're excited to be a part of this. Um, how long have you been doing music, bro? Man, I've been doing music for 11 years. Mm, 11 years, yeah, bro. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Come on, man. Nature. See, that's what people don't understand, bro. Yeah, like that's why I felt it. That's why I felt it. Come like, on, I bro. had to be a part of it. Sacrifice yeah, a lot. Come on, I man. Sacrifice everything. Almost my life. It's a come on. Your yeah. life? Yeah, my life. Come on, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, if you want to touch on it, bro, touch on it, man. Being homeless to my mother dying to taking food out of my son's mouth to beefing with niggas, going to war to everything, bro. Just everything, bro. I hear that, bro. Real shit. So what? Helped you change your life around, bro, because you look like you're doing good. You know what I mean? You on I tour mean, now. You know I mean, what I mean? God, we man. know it's progress. God, we know it's an everlasting journey. But his, what was that? What was that changing say. moment like? I mean, it's his say. You feel me? I had to humble myself because I had like opportunities before. Like I had big records with some people. You feel me? But it's just like I would put my business. I would put my feelings into the business, mm. and I had to learn how to take business, take feelings out of business because you know it's no feelings in business. So yeah, no. you feel me? So. Strictly I'm humble, so man, now I've been humble, and you know, I'm giving love, so I'm getting it back. That's what's up, bro. And we definitely appreciate you for sitting down with us, my yeah, guy. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? And, and and that's why we the official media for the night, and, and we definitely want to help my brother tell his story while he's here, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, yeah, bro. Of course, man. So, what was the journey getting into music, bro? Because a lot of people just want to do rap, but I see you got a passion for it, man. Nah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I love this shit more so, like so what was the journey getting into this? And like, you know what? I'm going to put the pen to paper. I'm going to tell right. my story. All right. What happened was my man had came home from jail and shit. And he was like, yo, smooth. Like, yo, when you talk, like, niggas be feeling you. Like, you talking that shit. So, hop on this intro, but he did music. I'm like, man, fuck out of here. I don't rap, man. Like, get out of here. Yeah. So, him and my other man gassed me up. I got on the intro, and that shit came out like some DJ drama shit. The town was fucking with it. Mm. After that, I just never get, leave the mic alone. Like, I just started and, rapping. And you've been rocking for 11, huh? For 11, bro. That's a lot of Ds, bro. Count out of Ds and then divide it in hours. Come on, man. That's a so, big. That's a big. Yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> bro. Let me tell you something. I got people that have been down for that, and I know that. You know what I yeah, mean? That's it. You know what I'm saying? So I know the feeling that you finally getting to see some, right, right. you know what I mean? It's a motion, motion right? right? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely yeah, yeah, big yeah. motion. So definitely. what? So... We talk about the business, 11 years in the game, so I'm yeah, sure you got some ups and some downs, right? So, Oh, yeah, definitely. We want to talk about the downs before we highlight the ups, right? Uh, what are, what would have been some hurdles that you have had to overcome in this industry along this journey? Like I said, I had to humble myself. Like, I had a record with a uh, popular artist up there. He didn't go mainstream, but you know what I mean? I feel like I was blocking my own blessings. You know, like I said, like, just because I'm a real nigga, can't expect for you to see your heart in somebody else. You feel what I'm saying? I, so we all I had to I had to humble myself and take my feelings out of it. So that was it. And then also like learning not to be so gullible, because you could be so gullible in this shit that you'll just give your money to anybody and niggas to be fucking you left and right. So I've been through that, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, we just had a conversation with the artist last night, said the same thing. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Sure. 
You got to be careful money, with bro. so many scammers, man. Yeah. Everybody is scamming this shit. Shit like one big Ponzi scheme. Facts, bro. Um, shit. So now we're going to talk about the highlights. What have been some highlights along the journey? Because I'm sure those have been like check marks to be like, man, keep going. Uh, being on, on the radar. Mm. Being on Million Dollars Worth of Game. What? Being on tour. Million dollars worth of game? Million dollars worth of All right, so I'm going to have to go back and check that, man. Shout out yeah. Gilly and Wallow, man. Yeah, shout out Gilly. Yeah, man. Yeah, they put me on. That was the last song I had with the old boy I was telling you about. Okay. Yeah, they put me on. They I'm on the Snoop Dogg episode when he was talking about Death Row. Talking about getting it. Bad. Yeah, so it was like right before he got Death Row. Okay, yeah. okay. And so those have been like. Those, it, this tour, you feel me? Come on, man. Going viral. Like, I went viral probably like six times this summer. Okay. Yeah, so that's like highlights. You feel Hell saying? yeah. Bro. Always wanting to go viral and then actually seeing it. It's a crazy feeling. So, so I've always been interested, intrigued with the viral thing. What that mean? You hit a meal on the views? Or I what had, that? I one, one video got 2.5 mil. Damn. Yeah. My man, bro. And it was like one of the videos that we just thought it just didn't make sense at all. But I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, some of that be the best videos, bro, because they yeah. organic, man. Right. You know it wasn't forced, you feel what I'm and I, and I think the game has shifted, right? Yeah. People want to hear that authentic, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Concept. Yeah, we 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 actually want to be able to visually see your story. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You want to know the person. Yeah, you want to paint the picture, bro. Right. Because really, rap is art. And it's about like you looking up to that person or wanting to be that person or getting something from that person. Motivation. You feel like be like, shoot, his story is relatable to mine. Sure. You know That's what I'm saying? Drake. Like, hey. He always kept it like medium, like even kill with, like, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, straight hit machine. Just kept yeah, it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, so where do you see yourself going with this, right? Like where Thank do you, you see yourself five to ten years from now? Where do you see yourself, my guy? Biggest artist in the world. Running the game on some no limit shit. Ooh, a bunch of artists coming in like Percy Miller. So you ain't just trying to be an artist. You trying nah, to evolve this CEO, thing. CEO, like CEO of the CIMJ. Come on now, that's what that's yeah. not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because I think we gotta start taking it further. Yeah, you got than to. just getting up here being paid to perform. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying. Mean, I ain't never been paid in this shit, so being paid would be lovely. Oh yeah, <laughs> we gonna we gonna get there. Yeah, of course, yeah. facts. Yeah, we facts. Right. yeah, yeah. But but the fact that you already. Thinking CEO mm -hmm. entrepreneurship oh, yeah, and not definitely. just limiting yourself to. No, I'm definitely in business. Side. I just want to get right. Definitely business side. You feel what I'm saying? That's what's up. So, who have been some of your motivations and inspiration to make you want to do what you do and 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 rap? Not saying that you y'all. I, I like his style, but what? Because you know, we all grew up in hip hop. I'm sure you're under fifty. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So yeah. you're a child of this culture that we oh, call yeah. hip hop, right? Yeah. So, what have been some of your influences that? What talking like, about as artists? Yeah, man. Musically, you don't got to be art. It can be sound. It can be vibes. Um, influences. Um, Fifty Cent. That was my favorite artist as a kid. Okay. Um, Dipset. Jada Kiss. The Dipset. Yeah. And uh, I say Fetty, man. You know what I mean? Watching somebody like that I actually knew. Okay. I say, my brother, my brother, in the Remy Boys. So it's like. I did somebody make it, it was just like, damn, it's like, it can happen. Like, they really, like, shot up there. It was like, you know what I mean? It can happen. Yeah, 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 bro. Uh, so what's next for you, man? You got any new music, new projects? Yeah, I just dropped a project today called Hottest in a Bitty, man. Bitty, you heard it. -T -T Smooth Jewels, man. Seven track T. Fire, no misses on that job. All right, so, so y'all go check that out, man. Yeah, I go check that out. So before we wrap this up real quick, tell them where they can follow you at, where all your music is streamed at. Give them the information, man. And if they want to book you, yeah, to do something, you feel all me? Right, well, or if they want to get you to feature, look at him. He the, he the, he the manager. I'll let him. He already building the team, man. They back here getting content and everything, man. Oh, That's yeah, we ain't playing, man. Yeah, man, but tell them all your information. Tell them all where right. they can follow you with, man. Talk your shit, man. Uh, Smooth Jewels. You can follow me on all the platforms at Smooth Jewels. S-M-O-O-T-H space Jewels, J-E-W-L-Z. Hottest in the video. Yeah. That's right, man. So check my guy out, man. And y'all already know, man, it's Big PJR with the Informer Podcast, my guy. We appreciate you, bro. We're going to share this video with Let's you. Go. So we're going to run this up. We're going to go viral again. Let's go. Let's go. And we're going to get that performance tonight, my guy. I can't wait to see you Let's burn that stage it. down, bro. Control. Ooh, I already know. I can't <laughs> wait, my guy. My guy. All right, my wow. guy. You know we here at the Informal Podcast. Shout us out, man. Appreciate it, man.